Guys, uh, football season's here. I know you guys just got away with practice a couple days ago, so I'm gonna ask you, Tegan, first of all, how you feeling uh, oh, here early in camp? Feeling great. Um, it's hot out, we're having hard practices. Team's doing great. We have to have some young kids step up this year and help our varsity team out. And, okay. Yeah. Logan, talk a little bit about what is the coaching staff, in particular Coach Rose, kind of ha harping on you guys early with. Kind of just, just gotta stay very disciplined this year. We don't, we don't have, a uh, huge number of kids. We're kind of very limited on our guys that can play. So we got to just kind of step up and be leaders. He he preaches that a lot every year. Just older guys got to step up, be leaders, always leave something behind in the program. And we're trying to do that by leading this little, these younger kids, helping them learn and whatnot. Brody, you guys have lost some talent, which I think kind of Logan's talking a little bit about in the last yeah. couple of years, whether it's the Ewing brothers or Ryland Ware or some of the other guys, Jackson Hughes. How do you how do you guys push past that and kind of make your own mark? I guess. Um, just practice harder, train up the little kids a little bit more, get them ready to play on varsity. Yeah. What are you looking forward to most this season? Just being with all my friends. You know, I've grown up with these boys my whole life, and I love the game of football and some of the best times out there on the field. Yeah. What do you love so much about the game of football, Logan? It's it's just been my whole life ever since I was a little kid. I mean, it's it's just fun hitting pads, popping pads with people. It's just fun. It's just a fun game. Not a lot of people get the chance to play the game, and when you're part of it, it's something special you get to be a part of. Tegan, talk a little bit about uh, maybe a game or an opponent you're looking forward to playing this year. Um, Our first game is coming up is Jackson. We've lost to them every time we've played them, and I kind of want to beat them. <laughs> They're one of the team, and then it's just game by game after that. Just okay. got to go Friday night by Friday night and go from there. What do you guys kind of feel like is going to be the key to your season, Logan? Uh, I think we gotta we gotta really stay together as, together as a group. But, um, the past couple years, there have been some guys that kind of don't really like to buy into the brothers and being a team. And I think this year we really got to try and let the younger guys know we're 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 a team and we're brothers and we want to have a family and just stay, staying healthy is going to be a big huge part of our success this year too because we're, we're very limited with numbers. Uh, what do you think of the competition in the 3A East? What's it going to be like this year, Brody? I think Buffalo's going to be pretty good. It's going to be one of our top competitors, but we'll have a good game with them. Yeah. It'll be a battle. Anybody else you got to kind of watch out for? I think uh, uh, Riverton just got there. I was talking to my Uncle Bobby. He coaches. Riverton just got that coach that was in Torrington and took him to the to the championship. He, yeah. Their, their program is going to be on the uprise, and I don't know if they'll exactly be – it's good this year, but here in the next couple of years, they'll start being better. Yeah, it's a good competition. What do you guys feel like you got to get done between now and the first game? What What's something that that's big for this team to, um, to accomplish? I don't know. Just we got to get in shape is number one, and we got dudes that are gonna be playing both sides of the ball every every snap, and we got to be be in shape for that, of course. And then mm -hmm. just gotta know what we're doing and be prepared, and yeah. Is there one side of the ball or special teams where you feel like you guys really got to pick it up, Logan? I think I think one thing that we really got to pick up is our our defense. We I mean we lost we lost Jackson in safety and we lost Carson in skiing and we lost a couple linemen that are <laughs> that have been pretty pretty huge to our team. So I think I think we got a couple couple younger guys. We got uh, Cash Cash Chiller should be able to step in and fill one of those roles pretty 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 well. He's a good right. little ball player. All right. Um, lastly, the thing you guys like the most about bus rides across the state. Oh. What do you say, Brody? Uh, <laughs> the jokes. The jokes. Okay. All right. What about you, Logan? Just, just spending time with spending time with your teammates. Uh -huh. Just just knowing that you got four years and those are those are however many bus rides that you're never gonna get back and you just gotta make the most out of it and it's just it's just an awesome time. Where's your favorite place to eat on the road, Tegan? Ooh, we, eat a, we, we eat a lot of pizza. That's all we really eat when we're on the road. So. Oh, no, Dash In. Dash In and Buffalo. Dash In and Buffalo. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, do you have to play them there? Or they no, we play them here. We play them here week okay. five. It's actually our homecoming game. Oh, too, so. ooh, so okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that, that was good. Um, good game. The thing you dread most about bus trips, Tegan? Sleep and snacks. <laughs> <laughs> and then the football game right after, like after you get off the bus. But. Okay. Yeah, I, I would say dreading the most that taking the long trips. Like we go, we go to Powell and Moreland back to back weeks. That's Ooh. that's two pretty long bus rides, and I'm not not looking forward <laughs> to. But what about you, Brody? Anything you dread? The long road trips. I yeah. Hate it, especially <laughs> when you got don't got your own seat. It's so yeah. Long. Yeah. 
Well guys, it sounds like you're looking forward to this season and I wish you the best of luck. Thanks for talking with me. Thank you. I can't tell you how long you've been here, but I know it's been a while. <laughs> how are you feeling here just a few days into practice? Oh, really good. You know, going into my 18th year here in Douglas, um, you know, I think it's my 22nd uh, or 3rd as, as a head football coach and been been coaching this game for over 30. So, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it should have been that long. I know I look a lot younger than that, but uh, no, I, I'm excited to get this year started. Um, you know, got a really good group of kids that, um, you know, put in some time, a lot of their time on their own in the in the summer, and uh, some guys that really took it upon themselves to get better. Um, you know, we're we're down a little bit in our junior and senior numbers, but our quality of those kids is 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 pretty good. So, um, excited about a good group of freshmen that we got out, and uh, you know, I think that's always the first couple days of practice. That's always a big thing is get you know seeing where your numbers are and seeing if you can keep those through this first week of practice and and then uh, then you know get into the season besides the numbers and, and kind of getting these guys in shape what are you really kind of hammering home with this group right now uh, you know right now it's just kind of uh, get all the paperwork in <laughs> get all the equipment out get you know all the organization stuff and, and when you start our teacher meetings on the same week it's always tough too but um, you know that that's been the biggest focus is just getting them organized right now um, really this morning was the first time we really got to do some scheme work uh, you know we're focused on some conditioning here um, but you know this group we got a lot of guys coming back and it's uh, um, you know not not real hard to install a bunch of scheme stuff because they guys can pick it up pretty fast and most of them went to camp and uh, so we can get things installed pretty fast speaking of that you did lose some valuable pieces off uh, you know a couple pretty good teams the last few years how, how do you kind of flip and turn the page I guess and, and make this team with their own identity well, that's what I love about high school football is I mean you know you may return some guys uh, starters but you're always going to have a new team some kind of new dynamics you know and uh, so you know you, you can't dwell on the guys that you lost you, you know and and uh, you just focus on the guys that are here and and keep it rolling and you know and after those 18 years you know there's been a lot of guys come come through here and and, and uh, you know every every group that has came through has left their mark somehow and you know this group is no different this team will will leave their mark on our program as well who are some pivotal key guys uh, that, that kind of need to lead this team this well, year? Well, I think, think, you know, we return our quarterback, Trey Wren, um, you know, and he, he's just a, a great young man. Uh, does uh, does everything that's asked is a good leader uh, and not just you know not vocally as much as just you know how he carries himself and how he presents himself to the team and uh, just he just does a, a fantastic job so you know looking for him to do some great things for us this year he's going to have that whole year of experience and the comfortable of being in the offense and mm -hmm. and being able to call some stuff on his own and and things like that's going to be huge uh, Tegan Seeds you know returns as the lineman of the of the conference um, you know and Tegan. Tegan's just an extremely hard worker and, uh, you know, is a real load when, when uh, he gets on people on offense and, and he's a load on defense as well. So, you know, those, those two guys are definitely going to lead, but we've got Logan Ortega returns at center. Uh, he's done a great job leading the team. Brody Wagner and um, Carter Archuleta will be kind of filling that spot in the backfield, plus, you know, returning as defensive starters. So, um, you know, those are some guys we're really looking to step up. Trenton Pearson, uh, Nate Hallquist on the outside receivers, uh, go, both really good basketball players in the, in the, in the winter, and uh, will definitely do some contributing for us, uh, you know, this, uh, this fall. So, um, you know, just you know, all of our seniors that are, are returning and are going to be, you know, uh, either returning into starting spots or be fighting for spots and uh, you know and we got some good juniors and se sophomores that are gonna be fighting for those spots as well obviously for you guys it's a quick turnaround from practice one to try and get ready for your first game what do you feel like you need to do uh, you know between now and then to get yourself ready for Jackson well I'll tell you actually we, we feel comfortable right now because we're not doing a zero week uh, game or a scrimmage uh, so we really got three weeks to kind of prepare for Jackson and so it's actually been really nice we've kind of been able to slow things down a bit and, and don't need to get ready to play a, you know a, a quality team like Cody in the last few years um, you know in zero week yeah. uh, we can really focus on uh, you know Jackson and, and then really focus on getting ourselves better yep 
Um, are there, you know, big early season goals that you and the staff kind of have in mind? Not necessarily looking long term, but early in the season to, to get these guys going in the right direction? Uh, you know, I think it's just a matter of, of, of getting that, uh, especially offensively, that gel back together okay. um, with our returning guys and the new guys that are going to step in. Of course, going to camp in the summer helps with that. Um, you know, so I think that's kind of the short-term focus is where do we fit all the pieces? So then when we get to Jackson, we made position changes after the Jackson game last year. We want to go into that Jackson game, you know, w with what our team's going to look like the rest of the year so we can just build on that. So I think that's going to be the huge key for us right now is just really finding out how we're going to use kids, uh, you know, what positions they're going to be in, how, what's our rotations look like, those kind of things. Well, Jay, I appreciate your time and wish you best of luck this season. All right. Thank you very much.